Hello everyone and welcome to Bridge is for Everyone. My name is Jad. This is episode 11 of the Learn to Play series. In this episode, you will learn how to bid when the partnership does not have a fit in a major suit. You know from episode 4 that whenever the partnership has a fit in a major suit and 25 points, it will seek a contract of 4 in that suit. You do this because it gives a good score for a relatively low contract. Such a contract is called a game contract. But for a game contract in the minor suits, you need another trick. You need to bid five diamonds or five clubs for a game contract in a minor suit. As you saw in episode four, the additional trick requires the partnership to have a fit in a minor suit and at least 29 points. Let's try a hand where this information is used. We'll start with a new deal. This is deal 318. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value the hand. You have seven high card points and zero long points for a total of seven points. With only one doubleton, the hand is balanced. And you have two biddable suits clubs and diamonds. Partner opens the bidding with one diamond. East passes, and it's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. You know that an opening bid of one of any suit shows 13 to 21 points, and a one diamond bid shows at least four diamonds. You apply the rules. When partner opens one of a suit and the opposition passes, you will bid with six or more points. Your seven points are enough. You apply the next rule. You apply the J process to the higher ranking suits, hearts and spades. You eliminate any suits with less than four cards. You have three spades and two hearts so you eliminate both these suits. You are left with no suits. So what do you bid? Here is the rule. If the J process does not give a suit to bid, look to support partner's minor suit. You learned the rules for supporting partner's major suit in episode 3. So now apply these rules to partner's minor suit. First, check for a fit with partner's suit. Partner has a minimum of four diamonds, and you have four diamonds, ensuring a fit in diamonds. Just as you did with a major suit fit, you revalue your hand. You replace the zero long points with one dummy point, giving you a total of eight points. This falls into the six to nine points range for a bid of two diamonds. West passes. It's partner's turn to bid. Partner may pass, bid diamonds, or switch to a no trump bid. Despite finding a fit, partner would still prefer to play no trump if that is sensible. You'll learn more about partner's rebid in a later episode. For now, you have done your job and told partner a great deal about your hand. Partner knows that you have six to nine points, four or more diamonds, guaranteeing a fit, and no more than three spades or three hearts. This is a great deal of information to assist partner in bidding well. Now let's try another hand. This is deal 307. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value the hand. You have eight high card points and one long point for a total of nine points. 
your only short suit is a doubleton, so the hand is balanced, and your only biddable suit is a long club suit. Partner opens with a bid of one club. East passes. It's your turn to bid and you interpret partner's bid. As you've seen before, an opening bid of one club shows 13 to 21 points and at least two clubs. You apply the rule. You have enough points to bid, you apply the next rule. You apply the J process to the higher ranking suits. You start by eliminating any with less than four cards. This eliminates all the suits. So you apply the new rule from the previous hand. You check for a fit. You have five clubs and partner has at least two for a total of seven. This is not strictly a fit, but let's take a closer look at partner's hand. Start by assuming partner has only two clubs. If partner has four or more diamonds, then the opening bid would have been one diamond. So partner has no more than three diamonds. Similarly, if partner had five or more hearts, the opening bid would have been one heart. So partner has no more than four hearts. And of course, the same argument applies to spades. So partner has no more than four spades. In fact, if partner has two clubs, then this is how his hand must look. Because our only biddable suit is clubs, there is no fit in any suit if partner has this hand. But partner's bid shows at least two clubs. So what do you do? Here is the rule. When partner opens one club, you assume that partner has exactly three clubs and bid accordingly. Sometimes you'll be wrong, but only when partner has a hand of exactly one shape. Partner is always going to prefer to play in a major suit or in no trump, so this is rarely a problem. Now, back to your hand. By assuming that partner has three clubs, you now have a fit. You proceed exactly as you did in the previous hand. But this is your long suit, not partner's, so do not revalue your hand. You apply the rule. With nine points, you bid two clubs. West passes. Partner was probably hoping for better news from you, but realises that a game bid is not possible. With a minimum opening bid, partner passes. And East passes to end the auction. Partner will be playing the two-club contract. This is quite a reasonable outcome, as you will have the advantage of keeping partner's stronger hand hidden from the opposition. Now, let's try another deal. This is deal 319. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value the hand. You have eight high card points and zero long points for a total of eight points. With no short suits, the hand is flat and therefore balanced. Your only biddable suit is a four card club suit. Partner opens the bidding with one club and East passes. It is your turn to bid and you interpret partner's bid. Once again, partner's bid shows 13 to 21 points and two or more clubs. You apply the rules. Your eight points are more than enough to bid. You apply the J process to the higher ranking suits, but immediately realise that none of them are biddable. The J process will not help you. As with the previous deal, you assume partner has three clubs 
and check for a fit. But even under this assumption, you may only have seven clubs. Not enough to guarantee a fit. So what do you bid? Here is the rule. When partner opens one club and the opposition player passes and you have enough points to bid but no new biddable suit and no fit, bid no trump. With six to nine points, bid one no trump. And with 10 to 12 points, bid two no trump. Now, back to your hand. You apply the rule and, with eight points, bid one no trump. West passes. It's partner's turn to bid. Your bid tells partner exactly how many cards you have in each suit. If you had four of any higher ranking suit than clubs, you would have bid that suit. And if you'd had five clubs, you would have bid two clubs as you did in the previous hand. So you must have exactly four clubs, three diamonds, three hearts and three spades. Partner uses this information to make a decision and passes. And East passes to end the auction. You will be playing one no trump. This is often a difficult contract to make but with no suit fit, it is your best contract. Good luck. This episode has covered more of the basics of bridge. It focused on how to bid when partner opens a minor suit and you have no biddable major suit. In future episodes, I'll cover everything else you'll need to be a confident and successful bridge player. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that Bridge is for everyone.